My name is Larissa. I'm going to show you how to make this scrub cap I'm wearing from start to finish. If you have questions, please write them down in the comments. You will need to print out my sewing pattern, cut it out and start sewing. You can get your own sewing pattern at the link at the top on the right of your screen and get creative. Good luck! To prepare your fabric for sewing, you need to iron it. Fold the fabric for the side part of your scrap cap. Then align the center of the pattern with a fold in the fabric. Your next step is tracing all around the side part of the pattern. Now pin together the layers of the fabric before you start cutting the pattern out. Align the top part of the sewing pattern with the edge of your fabric. Then trace all around it. Let's cut along the lines that we just traced. First, we go around the side part of the pattern. Unfold the fabric and cut out the top part of your scrap cap. I mark wrong side on both parts of my scrap cap. Fold the fabric at the bottom of the top part of your scrap cap twice and iron it. This is going to be the guide for the elastic tape. With the top part of your scrap cap wrong side up, make a straight stitch along the edge of the guide for the elastic tape. Use 3 inches of elastic tape and safety pin to put elastic tape inside the guide. Once safety pin is pushed through, pull it inside until the edge of the fabric is aligned with the end of elastic tape. Then pin it so it's secure at the end. Do the same action on the other side. Take the pin and secure your elastic tape. Fold the top part in half and find the center of it. Mark it with a pin. You will need to do the same thing on the side part. Fold it together, find the center and mark it with a pin. After we marked the centers of top part and side part, we need to align those pins and pin both parts together. Then go to the end of the side part and pin together the top part and the side part where they end. Do it on both sides of the scrap cap. Make sure that your parts are aligned just like you see in my video. Continue pinning both parts together. Use your fingers to align the edges of the fabric and put pins approximately one inch from one another.
Now side part and top part are pinned together. Now that the scrap cap is ready for sewing, start making straight stitch all around the scrap cap. Use your fingers to adjust fabric and remove folds. If you need to, pull some of the pins out so that they are not in the way. Once you are done with the straight stitch, change your settings for the zigzag stitch and flip your scrap cap around. Now you are going to put zigzag stitch all around the scrap cap. At the very end of the seam, make your zigzag stitch very close to the straight stitch. I like my sewing very nice and clean, so I tie knots using the leftover of thread. Then I stick needle in between layers of fabric where I'm going to hide the threads. I thread the needle and pull it through. Now I just cut the ends. If you like me and use zigzag stitch to finish your sewing, the last step is cutting off the excess fabric. If you use a serger, you definitely don't need to do this. The next step is ironing out the seam that we just made, the one that connects the top part and the side part of the scrap cap. You go all around, sprinkle water and iron out the seam so it's all nice and clean and there are no ripples as you can see. After you're done ironing, your work should look just like this. Now let's take a look at the bias tape. This is the one I use. I need 37 inches of it. The ends usually are not clean and the edges are not aligned. I iron it together to correct all of that, all the way down until all 37 inches are taken care of. To prepare ends of the bias tape, I unfold one of the folds lengthwise and then make a fold at the very end and iron it down. If the end of your bias tape is not even, make it straight, cut the excess off. Now you need to interlock the short sides of your bias tape, just like I did. After you interlock the end, Iron it down to make sure that it stays that way. Do the same work on the second end of the bias tape. Fold it down, iron it. Remember that you have to unfold one side lengthwise. After you iron it down, interlock it and iron down so it stays. tape is ready for stitching. Now we need to find the center of the scrap cap and mark it with a pin. Find the center of your bias tape and mark that with a pin also. Align the centers of bias tape and scrap cap together and make sure that you start pinning them together 
with the needle of the pen facing the fold in the bias tape. Use your fingers to align the edges and go all the way down until you reach the place where there is a seam. There is a little trick to it. What I usually do, I hide my seam inside the bias tape. I push it a little bit in, just like that, and pin it so it stays. After I'm done pinning one side, I go to the second side and repeat the action. I align the edges of the bias tape and the scrap cap and pin all the way down until I reach that place where there is a seam. I will do the same thing. I will take the piece of fabric with a seam and pull it into the bias tape so as to hide it and secure it with a pin. After I'm finished pinning, I can fold the bias tape to make sure that it stays everywhere especially that it covers both of those seams at the end. Now it's time for stitching. I start with the right end of the bias tape and I flip my scrap cap on the right side. At the very beginning there, you have to kind of help the sewing machine because there is nothing really there to catch for the mechanism. And then you apply your zigzag stitch all around the bias tape. Make sure that your needle hits fabric and not air every single time. All around the scrap cap. I pull the pins out and use my fingers to straighten out the fabric as I go all the way down to the other end of the bias tape. Make sure that the needle hits the bias tape and not the scrap cap every single stitch. Keep using your fingers and pull out all the pins as you go around. When you approach that place where the seam is covered, is hidden inside the bias tape, be especially careful, don't be in a hurry. Make sure that it's all nice and clean. As you approach the end of the uh, bias tape, help sewing the machine. Do a couple of stitches manually. Now all the sewing is done and I hide the ends of the thread inside the fabric using the needle and the scissors. I iron out the bias tape because I want my scrap cap to look really nice and professionally done. After I'm done with the bias tape, I will go all around the scrap cap and make sure that there are no wrinkles left. Everything nice and clean and ready to be worn by a nurse or a surgeon. <laughs> 